Busted, created by the powerful and attractive Gene Simmons, is going to be a prank show, but that's putting it mildly because if you're a star and you play guitar or do anything and you're on the road touring, you have your trusted entourage with you, except not so trusted. You're sort of like a band of gypsies when you're touring. You're, you live together, you eat together, and all sorts of strange things happen because you get bored. And when you get bored, you know, when you're not on stage, the rest of it is kind of boring. You're traveling, you're sitting, you're eating. Pranks tend to happen, all sorts of pranks. We had a roadie whose name was Mitch. There he goes in his car. Mitch always uh, came into the dressing room and helped himself to whatever was going on, despite the fact that he's not supposed to be there. That kind of a guy. Hey, how you doing? That's Mitch. And it was his birthday a few years ago. So I arranged to get him a birthday cake, chocolate blackout birthday cake. Chocolate this thick all around, made up of X-Lax, which is a, an American laxative, if you can't go. Understand? Yeah. And uh, there he goes again. So he came in, of course, and I said, happy birthday, Mitch. Don't worry, we don't. Just have some cake. Bet you can't eat the whole thing. Hey, what are you talking about? I can eat a big No, no, go ahead. And of course he did it. And then, you know, the look on his face, very, within a few minutes, then he ran off. And of course we had cameras waiting for him when he was, oh, you know, when the devil was trying to crawl out of him. That's not the end of it, though. Within two hours when we did the show, he was being projected on the screens to a full house. There he is, no shame, doing God's dirty work. Needless to say, he never went into the dressing room again. So you will get busted, and it'll be the gift that keeps on giving because it'll happen on many layers. You're, the, you're always the target. Uh, we're going to pull the wool over uh, Def Leppard's eyes. They're going to get it good. They're in Las Vegas. They're doing a run there. But we're not always going to announce, obviously, who and what's going to happen. And there's going to be a country busted, busted country, because that world is a, its own culture. And there's always room under that cowboy hat for all kinds of things. Some alive, some not so alive to happen. And we intend to make short work of them. Additionally, there are international versions, which is why we're here, because there are bands in Germany, for instance, like Die Totenhosen, that are very big there, that are unknown outside, and they're going to get it good. So they're going to be uh, busted UK and so on. We were here a few years ago with our TV show, Gene Simmons' Family Jewels, which uh, lasted 167 episodes and uh, eight or nine seasons. But Kiss is in a touring cycle now, so I can't very well do the show. I hear Gene, either that or it was a bird, did it say Gene? All right. Well, I always like hearing my name. Well, it is all called either show, but it's never just been called show. It's been called show business. If you believe in the, in the notion of uh, truth and advertising, it's never been called music, really. It's always been called the music business. And uh, show business, likewise, is the same. And there are no more doors. I mean, I've written a few books, all of them bestsellers. And we've done some TV, and I've produced some movies, and created cartoon shows, and like, you know, all the self-aggrandizement statements. But the idea that all these rooms in this big house are all separate rooms, it's really all the same. People are inter either interested in what you're doing or, or they're not, whatever it is you're doing. And what's really interesting is everything that we do here, that includes you and this camera over here, people don't really need. They really don't need it. It's not food and lodging. Other than food, lodging, and safety, they don't need any of the stuff that we do. So we better make our stuff, and I use that word in the Marshall McLuhan-esque sense of the word. He's a Canadian writer, by the way. Medium is the message and all that. The, the important thing is we have to make sure that what we do is good. So good that they, they really have to make it like Game of Thrones good. 
That's a really good show. Well, the most exciting thing that's happening is that the floodgates have opened up in terms of new delivery systems. That language is so stupid because people just think, oh, it's the milkman coming to deliver, or yeah, the paper boy coming to deliver. A delivery system means television, internet, there's direct TV, Netflix, and so on. There are new ways and new places for television shows to appear, like here. You can watch a TV show. And so, and so the business model is changing. For instance, I'm partnered with a company called Reliance Georgeville, and they're funding two of my other shows, one called Gene Simmons' House of Horrors and another one called Zipper. The shows are fully funded before you get a buyer for a broadcaster. So Gene Simmons' House of Horrors is going to be $50 million for 13 episodes. That's about $4 million plus per episode. I mean, these are small, hour-long motion pictures of that quality. The old days didn't allow that. You'd come up with a show, you'd go shopping for it. If you'd get a license fee, the license fee should equal, or you get a deficit finance company. Somehow you have to figure out how everybody gets made and you make the show for that price. The model is wide open, and the prices for network go from a million to five million to, on HBO, 12 million. The budget of some motion pictures which is why you're getting this kind of great quality, Boardwalk Empire and great sound effects like that car going by. Well, I never let anybody own everything. That just is not going to happen. For instance, in Busted, it's my show, I created it. E1 is my partner, but I control licensing and merchandising. The uh, other TV shows that I created, I have to control it because, to put it bluntly, I, I do reasonably well with licensing and merchandising, ancillaries and so on. You have to know where the dead bodies are buried and you have to understand structure, how to minimize your cost, your business model. You know, the phrase maximize your profit potential. There's no such thing as maximize. There's just more. There is no maximum. And so it's better to make more money than less. And I tend to make more money than less. I know how to do that. Because of the physicality of what we do, it's not going to be many more years. When Kiss gets up on stage, I'm wearing about 45 pounds of armor, 8-inch platform heels, and I wear more makeup and higher heels than your mommy does. So, I still have my hair. Yes, that's all me. No, it's not a wig, bitch. But it also means you can't do the physical stuff, so you can't be Kiss and do it at 70. But I'm going to be 64, and boy, do I look good. So you can't do it forever. And uh, we'll probably stop before certainly the Stones will. But we've been around a long time and built an empire, babe. It is babe, isn't it? Because you're in the biz.